aside from being one of the largest of the known carnivorous dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus rex is the dinosaur that has arguably received the most media exposure. The Tyrannosaurus rex had the strongest bite of any land animal even harder than we previously thought. When computer simulations were used to simulate the T-Rex's bite the results were quite surprising. The results were a maximum bite force of almost 12,800 pounds, about the equivalent of an adult T-Rex's body weight slamming down on its prey. That would make T-Rex the hardest biting terrestrial animal ever known. This figure was 2 to 3 times greater than previous estimates, 6 to 7 times greater than the biting force they calculated for the dinosaur Allosaurus, and about 3.5 times greater than the hardest bite measured by an Australian saltwater crocodile. But with this being said, there is a predator that would have been able to take down Tyrannosaurus rex. Its name was Sarcosuchus. Sarcosuchus was by far the biggest crocodile that ever lived. Unlike modern crocodiles which attain their full adult size in about 10 years, Sarcosuchus seemed to have kept growing and growing at a steady rate throughout its lifetime. As a result, the largest specimens would have reached lengths of up to 40 feet from head to tail. Although it's unlikely that Sarcosuchus deliberately hunted dinosaurs for lunch, there's no reason it had to tolerate other predators that competed with it for limited food resources. A full-grown supercroc would have been more than capable of breaking the neck of a large theropod. It's thought to have even preyed on Spinosaurus, the largest meat-eating dinosaur that ever lived. Since supercroc and Spinosaurus fed mostly on fish, these two mega predators may have occasionally crossed paths by accident, and may have targeted one another especially when they were hungry. What made Sarcosuchus truly impressive was its dinosaur worthy weight, more than 10 tons for those that reached 40 foot long, and perhaps 7 or 8 tons for the average adult. 100 million years ago North America was a lush tropical region crisscrossed by numerous rivers. It has only been relatively recently that this area dried out and became overspread by the Sahara the largest desert in the world. Sarcosuchus was only one of a wide variety of plus-sized reptiles that took advantage of this region's natural abundance during the late Mesozoic era. Basking in its year-round heat and humidity, there were also plenty of dinosaurs to keep this croc alert. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.